Hey, what is going on guys? The official Nuxer here and welcome back to another video. This time we've got an old school RuneScape progress video. This is progress video number one. There's going to be quite a bit of progress going into these videos. It's probably going to be around a week's worth of work uh, or something like that. I, I, I don't know, maybe a day's worth. I, I don't know how it's going to work. But basically, um, we these are our stats. These are our stats as of right now. Um, we got 64 attack, 60 strength, 62 defense, 62 range, 60 prayer, 75 mage. Those are the things that I'm going to be working on the most overall this time. Uh, we will be working on some of our skills also, mostly including Slayer and um, probably just going to do a bit of everything really. Uh, anything that can get me money is a really good thing for me. I'm pretty low on money right now, as you can see. I'll quickly show you my bank. My bank is basically dead. Um, before I kind of stopped playing for a large amount of time, the I, I did have quite a lot of money, but now I basically have nothing, just purely due to the fact that I just wouldn't play for like ages, and then I come back, and I wouldn't have membership anymore, so I'd spend my money on a bond, and then I just wouldn't play, and I'd just waste a whole, you know, two weeks worth of playing, and I've just spent like three mil on a bond, so I basically ended up going down to around 700k, and I couldn't even afford a bond anymore, so I had to go and grind out to a find a, to to afford a bond, and that's my cash stack now after buying you know gear and stuff. So we're basically just gonna be starting from scratch. Uh, we're not starting from scratch, but we're basically starting from pretty low on the bank side of things, and we're gonna try and get our stats up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grind out my attack to 65 and my strength to 61, and I'll see you then. So this is the inventory that I usually take. I take three super combats, uh, this amount of sharks, just one prayer potion, just because you never know. But I'm actually empty on prayer right now, so it's kind of going to be useless towards me. Um, and a stamina potion that just lets me run here. So basically, I'm going to be going to giant spiders. Uh, it's pretty good AFK XP, and you know I, I like the AFK gain. So I'm just going to do some AFK, uh, get these two stats up, and then we'll kind of go from there. Surprisingly, there is literally absolutely no one here, which I don't understand. Like, there's usually a lot of people here, and I'm on like the most populated wheel right now. But I'll see you guys when I hit that level. There we go. Just hit 65 attack. That is fucking juicy. So that didn't take too long. We're just gonna switch over to doing strength now for a little bit. We're gonna try and get to 61 strength, and I'll let you guys know when I've done that. There we go, guys. Just hit 61 strength, and I just want to thank. Uh, Mr. BMW E36 here for subscribing to my channel. That is completely awesome. Um, but there we go. 61 strength. Finally, we're at 65 attack as well. We're now going to go do something a little bit different because I've been here for about uh, I don't know how long, but we're going to go do something different. I'm not quite sure what yet, but I'll figure it out. So, guys, I'm going to train a skill that I have not trained in a very long time, and that is fire making. And I thought, why not? Like, I literally have not trained it in such a long time. So we're just going to train it just for shits and giggles, really. Why does it have to do that? Like, come on. No, move. So we're going to go to... We're at 35 right now, and we're just going to make our way to 40. I think that's a nice round number. Why can I not walk there? What the fuck? Yeah, so we're going to just go to 40. So I'll see you guys then. And there we go. That's 36 fire making. That literally took no time at all. I think I was kind of like halfway through a level, but uh, we'll just keep going and try and get to level 40. So I'm here just cash trying to fucking do this and this guy's just making fires right in front of me like an asshole. I, I don't understand what the fuck he's doing but uh, we're only a few logs off 37 now. So let's just quickly do that. Um, but what an asshole. He's literally there just fucking lighting logs right in front of me. Like I, I, I don't understand why the fuck you'd want to be a cunt. So it looks like we're going to have to hop wheels because this kid's a fucking asshole. Well, there we go, 37. So you guys want to hit 38. There we go, there goes 38 woodcut. And I changed myself to a fucking way less populated world just because that kid was sitting there and purposely messing me up. So I don't want anyone else doing it. So I'm just lighting these really long lines of fire right now just trying to get to 40. So we're at 38. Shouldn't take me too long now. Uh, this is just over an inventory and a bit to get to the next level so probably about three inventories and i should be done so i'll see you guys then so we're just coming up on 39 here boom there goes the 39 one more level left to 45 making 
There we go. We're just about coming up on level 40. Just this log. Boom. There we go. Hit level 40. So that is our goal reach for that skill for today. Um, I feel like I should really go for 30 feeling, but I'm not really going to do that. I think I might go do this tiny bit of mining and tiny bit of smithing. So I'm, four, I'm like 1k XP off both. So I think I'm going to go do that. Well, this shouldn't take too long. We're literally just got to kind of finish off this inventory, but we just need to do some dropping. Why is that not working? Someone, someone please tell me why that's not working. There we go. It's okay. Oh my god, why is it so bad? I, I have not done dropping in a long time. We've literally got about seven ores left. Uh, and then we will go up with the one level that I wanted to. And then what we'll do is we'll just go do some cannonballs to go up our level in smithing. I kind of want to get to 45 smithing, but doing cannonballs to do that would just be a pain in the ass. But it is a, you know, half decent money making method whilst training a skill. So, like right now I'm just dropping these iron ores because the, if you were to run to the bank, you would just literally make no XP. But there we go, 45 mining. Uh, and now we're going to go do the smithing. So, I completely forgot how slow the XP is on these things, but it's slow as fuck. But there we go. 42 smithing, uh, I bought a lot more bars than I should have, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish them all because it's a half decent money making method and hopefully that'll put me up a little bit. We've still got like 191 uh, cannonballs, sets of cannonballs to smith to go up to the next level and we won't reach that, but uh, it's just a little bit of extra money that I could really do with at the moment. So I'm just going to finish off all these cannonballs and I'll see you then. Alright guys, we're just coming to the end of our cannonballs that we had to make. Uh, we just had a few more left in the bank after the last run and then we're gonna go sell them see how much profit we made uh it was mainly about just getting that tiny bit of xp that we needed we need like one more inventory like literally one one more full inventory uh to get to the next level so i may do that i'm not 100 percent sure but i not even 100 percent sure what the hell my cannonballs are but we have 801 yeah that seems right because we used about 200 bars make four each so yeah that is right we can go sell these and see how much profit we made so we made about 70k profit just from doing those and that was like purely uh, at the start just for the XP so a nice 70k profit is always welcome in my books but we are going to buy 27 more bars just to get that level. Why did I type in 27? I do that all the time and I, I don't know why so we need uh, 27 more bars just to get that level but this is really good AFK money making if you're not doing it already so please go do it like uh, those bars don't mean no time at all and it was literally fucking AFK as hell like I've never seen such an AFK thing. Um, but we just want to do these 27 bars and then we should go up a level, so that'll be completely awesome. Yeah, 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 yo, yo, what? Yo, what? I made it all and I have, like, one fucking XP left. Two! Two fucking XP! Is there something I can smith in my back? That is so fucking ripped. There's not even an anvil there. Is there anything I can make? Do I have, like, any fucking bronze or some bullshit? What the- What is that shit? It- OS buddy, you were wrong. You were completely and utterly fucking wrong. I don't think I have anything to smith. Can you? You need coal, right, to smith these? I think I actually have some coal. Motherfucking lying piece of shit. There we go. This, this should. Be, I should be able to smith this. Like I don't have much to smith in my bank. What a fucking lying piece of shit. This should put me up. There we go. Level forty three smithing. Don't ever lie to me again, OS buddy, or I'll fucking. I will flip shit, boy. I will flip shit. But there we go, 43 smithing, uh, let's go sell these cannonballs, and then we'll go from there. So as you can see, it's quite profitable, from like one inventory you make about 10k, which is pretty good. They, they do take quite a long time to make though, so I guess in that sense it does kind of become pretty, you know, not that good. Um, but what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be doing some fletching. Uh, I've got all these maple logs, and I'm going to turn them all into maple longbows. Uh, just purely for the XP, I, I don't know how many I'll have to do, but I'm pretty sure this is what I should be doing at this level for, like, the best XP. So I'm gonna go make a crap ton of maple longbows, and I will kinda update you as I go along. So guys, just coming up on the last inventory here to reach level 57. Uh, just got a few left. We still have quite a lot of logs to do, though. I think we still got at least another 300 logs. Uh, and we are going to do all of them, because why not? Let's just get them out of the way. Uh, they've been sitting in my bank for quite a while now, and I just haven't bothered to do any fletching. I think I did a little bit the other day. Uh, I can't remember specifically why, but I did do some fletching. I think I wanted to get my level up for something. But um, anyways, here we go. Three, two, one. About to hit 57. There we go. 57 fletching. That is awesome. And we still... 
Okay, whoops, that, that, was, a, that was an accident. But we still uh, have 481 logs. Like, for some reason, these won't bank. Why would these not bank? There we go. Uh, I am using mouse keys, which just speeds up the processor crap ton. Like, look at that. That was that's pretty fast, right? Um, but we still have 370 until the next hole. So we might be able to make it to 58 um, before we run out. So we've got 20k XP. Uh, we might be able to make it to 58 at least before we run out. I can't remember how many do we have. Yeah, we can definitely make it and have about 100 left over, which is awesome. Um, so I will see you guys then. Right, guys, coming up on 58 Fletch in here. Uh, we're pretty we're pretty close to the end of our logs. Uh, we're not fully done, but we are pretty done. But here we go, 58 Fletch in. That is absolutely tasty, boys. Uh, we will be going for 60, but just not right now. We're probably going to switch to another skill once I finish off the rest of these uh, maples. We've got about 400 left to make or something like that. Uh, I believe it's 400. Yeah, we've got about 400 left to make before we level up again but 60 fletching would be a pretty nice thing i think what we're going to try next is maybe a bit of crafting i'm not completely sure uh we'll see if there's a way that i can make a little bit of money whilst they craft i know there is i know i can make sapphire rings but it just doesn't give that much xp so we'll kind of go from there and see what happens but i'm just going to finish off the rest of these maples there's a few inventories uh and in that time i'll figure out some way to get up my crafting and get some xp here we go guys, almost at the end of our logs, there's two logs left, and one, that's a boom, that was a crap ton of logs, uh, I'm not completely sure how many we did, but we had quite a few, it didn't take me too long, so I'm pretty glad about that, but now we have a thousand uh, unstrung maple longbows, I guess we could string them, but it would be pretty expensive, so how, we'd make 94k back, which I guess, how much are maple logs? 50. Okay, so you do actually make profit from these things. And not, I'm not going to lie, I thought that you didn't. But 100k, here we go. Added to the bank. That's pretty sexy. Another 100k just added to our cash pile. It's not much, um, but it's, it's slowly coming up. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to make some sapphire rings. At the moment, they're pretty good profit, I believe. So we'll quickly check uh, the margins on these. But I'm pretty sure they're pretty good profit. So we're just going to uh, buy one for max price. 13982 um so you can buy these for one three two seven so let's just go uh that much and uh, we could buy about a thousand i don't think we're gonna do a thousand um that's quite a few so we can make about how many in inventory 13 in inventory we'll do that much 390 for now uh and then we just gotta buy some gold bars Actually, you know what? Before these buy, uh, they won't buy instantly. Let's check the, the thing on Sapphire Rings because I'm not 100% sure what the uh, what what the margins are at the moment. So 1888. So we could probably sell. Let's check the margin. Uh, okay, we could probably sell them for 1800. That's a decent amount of profit. So as long as I'm making profit and getting crafting XP, I could not give less of a shit. So we need to buy 390 of these. Uh, the reason I do them in small stacks like this is just purely because otherwise um, you're not going to make much profit. But whilst this is happening, I'm just literally going to do like uh, some, no, well, snake grass. I'll do some snake grass slipping. It's literally like a few XP, mar uh, a few XP, a few GP margin and it's very, very cheap. So that's 38. Uh, let's check the second margin. 36. Like, that's pretty decent. That's a 2 GP margin on such a uh, cheap thing. And just kind of whilst you're messing about or doing whatever, you can just do a really easy flip on these. So I'm, I'm not going to do too many. I'm just going to do uh, about 10k there. So we'll leave them to go. We'll also do some iron ore as well. If you do, um, you know, some... If you do some items that are free to play as well, you get quite a lot. Uh, the margins are a lot better. So 105, 104. That was just unlucky, I guess. Let's try some lobsters. Lobsters are pretty good too, because a lot of people do use them in in pay to play, um, surprisingly. So and a lot of people use them in free to play as well. So 172, 169. Uh, that's like three GP profit. So let's just do a few of these. And these do happen a lot quicker. So let's just do maybe 999 of these. There we go. Uh, so we've got to wait for these sapphires to buy. They might take a while, but I'll just wait for them to buy. And in the meantime, I guess I'll, I don't know, I'll do something. I'm not 100% sure what, but I'll do something in the meantime just to, uh, 
just to pass the time, you know. Don't want to XP waste too much. I really want to sell this rune kite shield. It's been in my bank for a long time and I just haven't used it. Um, but we'll just we'll do a few flips, like some easy flips, like Zora scales and stuff like that. I don't know if these are even worth flipping anymore because after like that huge update, they just kind of dropped in price. But it was I think it was 132, 131. See, it's like one GP profit. It's just not even worth doing at that price. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. So I've been sitting here for a long ass time and these still haven't bought. So I'm going to put the price up just a little bit. Um, I quickly need to do a calculation because I'm a bit of an idiot. So we need 243 more sapphires. Let's grab the money out of our bank just to finish off the rest of the amount. That is not the bank. That's the grand exchange. Please. So I've like just started editing this video and I've realized that I've like used quite a lot of time on it already. Which is surprising because it's, it's really flown by and... I've really enjoyed doing it and usually I kind of just train one skill for a long time and it gets super boring super quick but this has not been as boring as I thought it would be and uh, there we go they bought like instantly then uh, this has not been as boring as I thought it would be just change just actually training different skills and stuff like that has literally made it so much less boring to the point where I actually want to do this on a regular basis so I'm gonna quickly switch them around and switch that just so it's all a little bit closer um, but what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do all of these, which does take around an hour, something like, no, I think it's around an hour to do all of these, uh, but we're just going to do them over here at uh, Edgeville, but I'm going to do all of these, and then after that, I will, well, I'll kind of I'll, I'll kinda keep you posted uh, every once in a while, but after that, that should be the end of the progress video, so I'll see you guys then. So guys, just coming up on our 10th inventory here, that means that we've made 130, uh, we still got 56 rings left to go, so about a few inventories left to go uh, before we level up. But this is pretty good money, especially when you're doing it here. Um, not gonna lie, I completely forgot that there was a furnace here. Um, and that for a long time I was making sapphire rings in Alcarid, and it's so much longer and you use so much... Really? Is that car gonna be r that fucking loud? But you, you use so much run energy, like I've done 10 inventories and only gone down 25. And that means that I could literally just drink a stamina potion, uh, not even a stamina potion, I could drink an energy potion, like, once every 10 inventories and then stay full. So, that is completely awesome. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're going on pretty good. We sold all those lobsters, uh, sold them back for like 2, two GP profit each, which isn't much, but whatever, I, I don't care. Like, as long as I'm making profit whilst I'm making profit, you know, just making profit upon profit, that's great. Uh, I bought some of the snake grass. As you can see, I bought 141 of it first, sold that for 2GP extra profit, uh, and also there's more coming in now. So it does buy. If you kind of just leave a huge offer on, like, for, like, a week and then sell it, you probably make a, a load of fucking bonk, you know. But my main priority right now is trying to get enough money for a bond. Um, well, for a bond and for some money left over. So I, I kind of want to get another 2.7 mil uh, for a bond. I, it's around 2.7 mil right now. So plus the cash stack that I have... Uh, right now just to kind of go from there so you know i'll see you guys when i made uh a few more of these rings so guys just coming up on 52 crafting in three two one there is 52 crafting that is awesome we're going to keep going on and finish the rest of these rings though of course um we don't have too many left so once i'm done with all of them i'll let you guys know so guys just coming up on the last ones here these were some that i actually had in my bank before uh well two of them were anyways but look from all of those 390 rings, I went down to 15 run. Which is pretty, like, that's pretty fucking good. I didn't have to use any potions. Uh, I am going to use the stamina potion here just to run to the GE. But we're going to sell these things and see how much profit we've made. So you guys got a pretty nice cash stack there. Uh, we spent 601,000 and we got 696k back. So we made about 100k, uh, well, about 90k. But it's better than nothing, I guess. Wait, where... I was about to say where is all my money and then I realized it's all in trades and I swear to god I fucking I jizzed a little bit I was about to fucking cry like you don't even understand I was like oh shit where the hell's all my money but uh just sell these at 30 HGP they, it's not really worth doing unless you're doing it like overnight but either way that is the end of the first progress video uh we've gone up about 300 mil something like that we've done a lot of stats um I'll quickly just move over and show you guys the stats there so we might be a little bit off 
Uh, but those are the stats that we've done today. That is what we have come to. Uh, I did show my stats at the start of the video, and I'm just going to be doing that every episode. So we went up quite a lot in loads of different stats, and I'm, I'm glad that we did this. Uh, we've got quite a lot of GPs you can see, so this is going to be slightly off here when I drive this back. That should be fine. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. This has been episode one of Old School RuneScape Progress. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!